10 scenarios, four teams, and one common goal to be the best explosive ordnance disposal team in the Pacific. More than 50 EOD team members from around the region got together for one of the largest joint EOD exercises ever in Korea. We're conducting a combined explosive ordnance disposal uh, exercise, um, bringing in uh, multiple uh, EOD services. Units traveled from as far as Japan to participate in this exercise, which was focused on improvised explosive devices. We're conducting counter IED lanes, uh, focusing on um, RC IEDs, vehicle borne IEDs, hostage rescue, homemade explosive labs, trying to enhance the overall EOD readiness here on the Korean Peninsula. Each lane is inspired by real world experiences and is designed to test the knowledge and experience of the team leaders. It's nice to see different scenarios because we have to make up a uh, new training scenarios and uh, obviously IEDs are only limited to the bomb maker's imagination so it's nice to get different team leaders and stuff that I've never met before to make IEDs and everything, see new things. We got something under his right foot. I'm gonna position the imager. The exercise gives EOD technicians from around the region a chance to network and learn from each other. In the end, I want my guys to do well and I want them to come home safely. So seeing that they've been training on their own, uh, or with their, their platoons or squadrons and, and beating my problems is, is still is a good feeling. Reporting from Camp Casey, I'm Airman First Class Jonathan Wines.